what's a good idea? How do we know what a good idea is? And I think everybody's guilty of, uh, me especially, of having this, uh, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you go, oh my gosh, this is a brilliant idea. And then you tell people, or you try to do something with it, or just the next day it's not a brilliant idea. And I think we're going to talk about some of those elements, some of those skills to let you know if something is good, if you can find a story in it, if you can find three acts in it, if you can find a journey that someone's going to go on, if you can find genres in the idea, like we discussed before. All of those things are very important. But I remember one of the, when I got to know Blake and read his book and all that kind of stuff, a really key thing that he would always hit home about concepts. And Blake was this like concept king. He would like, he, he could really figure out concept, particularly <coughs> commercially. If it would be appealing to executives, um, if it would be a big family film or a small indie, he was really good in sniffing that out. But one of the things, and I think it's in his first book, that he would always drive home is if it's a primal idea. If it's an idea that we could pitch to a caveman, maybe even not even using language of like acting it out, like I'm going to punch him and steal his girlfriend. Because those are primal elements that no matter how much technology we develop or how much Twitter we have, love lost, love gained, war, vengeance, all those are themes that we've seen since we were cavemen, okay? So keeping the idea primal is a really important thing. And I think by doing that, um, you, you work away from these more abstract ideas, like, oh, it's about a guy who thinks he can change the world, but he doesn't really change the world, and uh, what, those are kind of, that's a thought-oriented idea, okay? But something that you could portray to a very primitive person. Those are primal, those are primal instincts that we have, whether it's now or whether we're sitting around a campfire, that kind of thing. But also, and this kind of goes along with the title, but also the concept that when you hear it, when you pitch it, when you talk to somebody about it, it kind of creates like an itch, Blake used to call it, of like, I want to know more. Like, what? What, what else? What, what else about that? What else about that character? It leaves an audience wanting to know more, which is a key part of storytelling, right?